Hello folks, I know this isn't my regular setup and I'm not shooting at the best time of day for lighting. That's because this video is a quick update. So quick, I didn't feel like risking Seminella to apply expired makeup for it. So I will just look like I have Seminella poisoning instead. I'll admit I tried this unscripted and that was not happening. Someday I'll get there. Until then, pardon my lack of eye contact unless someone is kind enough to buy me a teleprompter. Then everyone will get to benefit from more eye contact except me because I can't see any of your eyes. Yesterday I posted a video about Bill C-10 and in it I called out the NDP for potentially supporting it. So of course today after I sent an IM about it to the majority report to bring attention to it that Sam actually read out loud. <laughs> They release a statement stepping away from their support for the bill. <laughs> Thank you. Would have been nice to see this before I sent the IM, but anyway, this is a good update. In it, they say, It's imperative to get this right and to understand the potential impact of this bill on regular Canadians and content creators before we move forward. It's clear Minister Gilbu, 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 the heritage minister, will not do the necessary review before moving forward. That is why on Monday we will be voting in favor of a motion that puts Bill C-10 on hold while the Department of Justice conducts a new charter compliance analysis and calls the minister to appear in a committee. The NDP plans to table a sub-amendment that puts a timeline on the motion to make sure the Conservatives are not using this as an opportunity to delay the advancement of this bill indefinitely. I would like to take full credit for this. Yep, it was all me and all the hard, hard work I put into that video that I released late last night that was so good it changed their minds in less than 24 hours. It was me and you. You had a lot to do with it too by watching my video and sharing it. We made a difference. We did it. But we're not in the clear yet. As the NDP states, they want a timeline on this so it will eventually come up for a vote. It's important that we keep our eyes on it and apply the necessary pressure to ensure the bill they vote on doesn't infringe on our freedom of speech. Also, it's important to note that if the Liberals had been in the majority, they would have passed this bill with the changes they put in it and our free speech would have suffered because of it. Keep this in mind during the next election. The Liberals wanted to restrict our free speech. When they tell us to vote strategically to keep the Conservatives out, remember, we have another option with the NDP. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Well, you will see me, as I mentioned before. I can't actually see you, but I feel you.